Alright guys, I'm finally going to be teaching you how to activate a flame fist into a windmill punch or any other special moves. If you guys didn't know, even though they did take away Liu Kang's buff where he can do a standing string or just a standing normal, after a flame fist activation, you can still cancel it into a special move. Now, the frame data says that you only have one frame startup to where you can actually do a special move. I'm not sure how reliable that is, but just, just understand that you do not have much time before you can uh, do a special move before the flame fist activates. So, the first thing I would actually recommend you guys doing is to start off with an easy special move. Now, the easiest for me is down back two or down back one. It's only two directions and the directions are right beside each other, so it's really easy. So, um, I never miss time this at all. It's really easy again. After you get those two commands down, we're gonna go for something a tad bit more difficult. We're gonna do flame fist into back forward one or back forward two. Um, reason being is because the windmill punch commands is forward back forward four and uh, all you're missing is the forward when you do a fireball or a fireball so it's getting your fingers prepared to input the correct uh, directions for the windmill punch so just do those get that done again 100% of the time and after you get that done that's when we go for the windmill punch right now learning how to do flame fist into windmill punch is a very important thing for this variation for Liu Kang. Um, it's the reason why I can play him so well. If I did not do this, I'm not sure how well of a Liu Kang flame fist would be as a whole and I would be able to play him. Reason being because this variation has a lot of inescapable things. If you learn how to do it, it actually extends combos in the corner. Um, makes a lot of things, a lot of th strings more um, hit registered. Whereas if you see it hit, you can do a windmill punch and do another windmill punch afterwards or something like that. But I think one of the most important thing is that it actually gives Liu Kang about a 12 to 13 percent inescapable chip damage setup. So if I do this, four, two, one, three, and do the uh, flame fist activation into windmill punch and a low fireball, the windmill punch is EX. It can't be escaped. So as you guys can see, I got my right toes back dash. So if I do this setup right here. All that links, and uh, as you guys can see, I had the uh, health bar set to 10%. It passed the 10% mark, and now it looks it looks like it's about 7 or 8% health, maybe even lower than that. But we're going to just say 30% tip damage, inescapable for now. So that's one thing, and uh, something you can escape once again. It does a lot of damage, really useful. So if you go to the corner, you, a you can actually extend combos. So do something like that. 34%, but... A low fireball is plus six in this variation. This back one is nine frames, meaning that your opponent has three frames to do something. They can jump out uh, because the back one will hit them. Um, they can't armor unless you have, or unless you're a Goro with two hits of armor. So really don't have much to do except X-ray. So that's why you definitely want to learn that. Um, and that even adds more uh, damage to your combo. So like if I do this, plus six and do this, well, messed up, but do this. Put it on a um, block always that does that makes that 34 percent combo more like 45 percent so definitely want to learn that um let me just show you guys really quickly that they can't jump out so see it catches them as you got, i messed up but it still catches them you get like 25 percent probably even more off of that another combo you can do is this one right here Forty-seven percent, two bars. One final thing I want to show you guys is let's say your opponent doesn't respect the uh, forward two three, well four, yeah forward two one three into the famous activation. Let's say they let go of a block after the three. So if I do this and the combo, as you guys can see, it does ten percent more damage that way. Um, and I've had people that actually got hit with that, so. You definitely want to show respect to that setup. If you don't, you get hit with an incredible amount of damage. Even if I don't even uh, just spend one bar and do a that other combo, still 53%. So those are my tips for getting Flame Fix activated into Windmill Punch. Hopefully it works for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.